In this tutorial, we are removing dust from shirts, which can be a huge problem when taking a series of portraits. If the talent has on a sweater or a shirt, it very often is wriggled, which is not that easy to do something with, but dust on the fabric can easily be removed in one or two steps. So we are considering dust and scratches and maybe clone stamp or patches. So let's get right into it here. Make sure you have downloaded the latest version of, of uh, Photoshop. And for this specific tutorial, I have chosen an image of myself not to get in trouble showing anyone else without a license agreement. So I'm choosing this image which I have already opened for this tutorial. Here we have some layers which I can remove. And then we have only the original background which we will duplicate by Pressing, we try to use as many short keys as possible so we don't have to look around all the screen to get up all the, all the, uh, the tools. So to duplicate this image, we are pressing Command and J on Mac. My Photoshop version is in Norwegian. I apologize for that. I have tried to set it back to English a couple of times, but every time I upgrade my software, it goes back to my mother language, which is Norwegian. So I will try to explain during the whole process. Therefore, my duplicate layer says log in, which is layer one in English. I will rename this to dust and scratches which is the layer we're working on to remove dust and scratches and if we are doing something wrong no problem then we can turn off or delete this layer and we have the original layer on the bottom all the way along so On my shirt in this image, I have not that many dust particles, but we can see a couple of them here. One here, a feather or something, and some white spots randomly placed in the image. And if we zoom into the white dots and apply a filter, dust remove dust and scratches i have already made settings to to make these spots disappear but if we move them down to the lowest values we can see that the dust still is there and we have to find the sweet spot where the spots is removed and as we saw earlier in this image I have set the um, Bildepunkter is pixels in English I had set the pixel number to 3 the image gets a little blurry and we can set it to 4 then it's all gone it was probably 4 at the beginning and now we can see that the image is kind of blurry, so we have to raise the threshold value. And then we have to try which value is the right. And I had set it to 30, I guess. So that's where we are now. If we put it all the way up to 255, which is the highest level, the spots comes back. 
type in 30 for this specific image and the dust and scratches are removed. The problem now is that a lot of detail in the image disappears. So for that we have to apply a layer mask down here. Then we have a white mask which exposes everything in the image. If we make this mask black, we hide everything in this image and that's where we will go now. So press command I for invert layer. Then we go from white to black or you can do it here. Press X to change between white and black. And if you want to go back to white here, Hello there. Hello, hello. Well, excuse me for that. You know, uh, telephones, mobile phones, and stuff. Okay, so where were we? Where were we? Yes, uh, we have turned this layer into black, but we can also do it with this tool here. And then we can press Command and Backspace. And it gets white. It's the same result, but with different methods. Changing it back to black, X, command, backspace. And you can see the details are back in the image. But our goal now is to remove these dust spots on my shirt without affecting the whole image so choose be sure you have chosen the mask the black mask press b on the keyboard for brush and to adjust the brush uh, size press ctrl and option drag your pen on the the tablet drag the pen on the tablet press control and option at the same time drag a pen on the tablet left and right to increase or decrease the brush size don't it's not necessary to make the brush size bigger than we need here and to make the edges of the brush softer drag up and down on the tablet about there then we can start to paint away the dust see the dust disappears here we have a long one which is the feather I think this will not go away because of our settings in the filter then we have to take care of that afterwards, either with the clone stamp tool or the patches tool. But paint away as much as possible on this layer first. There we have made those disappear and to check what what's different in the image press this eye icon here then you can see it comes back on zoom in a little bit here you can see okay so now we still have this one up here we which we will get rid of to not paint on the same layer, we can duplicate, duplicate this image by pressing plus to make a new layer, choose image and apply image. 
OK. Now we have an exact copy of the layer beneath, but only on one layer. Now we can uh, choose either clone stamp tool or patches tool to make this one disappear. I will try clone stamp tool first. S on the keyboard for clone stamp tool. Press option and pick, pick an area close to this uh, dust particle to make uh, to make the clone as as close to this area as possible we press option on the keyboard and push the pen down on the tablet now we have a clone of this area remove uh, move your pen and start painting over and it's gone that's one way of doing it and now we're trying to use the patches tool to make this dust particle go away. Press J on the keyboard for patches tool. You can see it changes here. S for clone stamp, J for patches. And make a small area with a pen on the tablet around the dust particle. And move the area to the side. Press Command D to deselect the area and the patch or the dust is gone. This is two ways of making the dust go away. Choose one of them that works the best or after your taste. So now we have done this in one image. Imagine you are photographing for a client, maybe up to 30 employees, and you have the same background, the same posing, the same lighting and stuff. It's a lot of work to remove the dust from all people, but instead of using the clone stamp tool or the patches tool on every image for every dust particle, this, um, this filter for removing dust and scratches is very effective and you have great control over all your images. So, I guess a lot of people out there is uh, knowing how to do this, but if you are in the beginning of your photoshopping adventure, this is probably, probably nothing you know of yet. So, if this helps, I am glad there are a lot of tricks in Photoshop to learn. I have a lot of stuff to learn still. And uh, the learning curve in the beginning is kind of steep, but when you understand how to use layers and brushes and other tools in Photoshop, you will learn faster and faster. Thank you for watching and have a great time in Photoshop.